What are they doing, Dak? What? Oh my gosh, can you do that? Yeah. All right, good morning, guys. Jackie, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First thing we do in the mornings is kind of just try and wake up a little bit. We'll come out here and put on his favorite show, which right now is Trash Truck. And Sarah and I usually switch off who gets Jack in the morning. So whoever feeds Sunny in the middle of the night, the other person gets Jack in the morning. And today that's me, and I like it. Look who's awake. Hi, Bunny. She's looking at me. She's looking at you. Do you guys see eyeballs? Mm-hmm. You <laughs> see the eyes? Mm-hmm. All blue. And I like blue. I like dark blue. Is that dark blue? Well, guys. This is just unfortunate. If you've seen our last video or if you've watched our stories or our TikToks, you know that our car has been stolen, our truck. And we picked up this new car, this Jeep. Yeah, I was pretty stoked on the find. Thought it would be good and here we are. Check this out. Awesome. <laughs> car won't start. We've had it for four days. Oh, that's so lame. What in the world? Lame. All right, I just got to the doctor's office with Sunny. She has an appointment. I think this is her second doctor's appointment. Sarah had to do the last one where she got a couple of shots. She got pretty traumatized by that. So she's having me take her this time. It's sad watching them get shots and kind of get poked and stuff, but I do like being there to be able to comfort them. It's, it's nice. So yeah, let's go in to the appointment. All right, we made it in, yay! Just one shot today, that's all. I hate watching it, but it's only one. You ready, Sunny? So it's about 2.30 and I am finally just getting ready for the day. Honestly, if I get ready in the day, I like feel accomplished because it's a hard thing to do these days. So in a little bit, Derek and I are gonna be talking to you guys about why we are moving to Utah because I did a Q&A on my Instagram and I realized that so many people didn't know why we were moving or that we were even moving in the first place, which is kind of understandable because we haven't really talked about it that much. So he is taking Sunny to her appointment right now and then we're gonna tell you guys all about why we're leaving Hawaii. But I'm actually kind of excited because my best friend since junior high, we've lived in separate states since we graduated. She is moving to Utah and I can't even wait, but she has always been one of those friends that has like been through it all with me like since I was 13, like all the awkward stages. But I was talking to her on the phone the other day and we realized that we have had so many experiences together when we are just like cry laughing. We would seriously laugh so hard that we would pee our pants all the time. And I kind of thought that I was like weird. I'm like, why is my bladder so weak? But I realized that it's very, very common for women. So literally since high school, I have been wearing like pads and liners to try and like control my bladder. And then I noticed that after I gave birth, like I would sneeze and I would pee. Two thirds of women in the US experience bladder incontinence at some point throughout their life, which is crazy. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I found the best pads that I really, really love. They're from Fit Right Fresh Start pads. So this is them. One of the main things I love how much it covers. And then they also use baking soda in them. So it's complete odor control. And I'm telling you this because the company gave me a code to give you guys to get a free trial pack so you can try them out for yourself. And I know that you guys are going to love them. So you can use the code Sarah on there and they will send you a free trial pack. But it's like perfect because I can just go throughout the day and not have to worry about if I'm going to leak. If any of you moms are out there, you fully know what I'm talking about. Out. hopefully like as women we can all like start talking about stuff like this more but yeah seriously don't forget to use my code Sarah and they will send you a free trial pack I'm definitely going to be using these for a long long time I'm just gonna do this real fast makeup always looks so scary before you blend it in little life update as I'm doing this tomorrow my sister-in-law Lo we are flying to New York it's a 10 hour flight from the island and we are going to a little of Event that she's doing. She's speaking on a panel there to a company. So I am going to support her. We're going to do a little girls trip. We also 
going to see Phantom of the Opera. And I am so excited for that. Since I was little, I have always, always loved that. We are going to see it on Broadway. I heard they're getting rid of it. So this was like perfect timing for me. Honestly, I am just a little scared to leave Sunny. Like it's only like a three, almost four day trip, but still like Sunny's so little. Like I don't want to miss any part of her getting bigger. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering how I can leave her. Unfortunately, I was not able to breastfeed again this time despite me trying. There are a lot of factors, but I honestly think it's because I had that breast reduction surgery done. Even though going into that surgery, I asked the doctor if he thought that I would be able to breastfeed and he said it shouldn't be a problem that a lot of his clients still do and are fine. But for some reason, I think it was just not in the cards for me because I tried with Jack and now I've tried with Sunny and it just didn't work out. So she is on formula as of right now. I still am like so sad about like leaving because like even four days is like a lot in newborn time. They just grow so fast. But on the other hand, I feel like it's good for every mom to get a little break sometimes. So I think it'll be good. Okay. Yep. This is my quick seven minute makeup. <laughs> now I just don't know what to do about the hair. I'm just always putting it in a ponytail or a bun. You know what? Let's get fun today and do a braid. And tease it, tease it. We're going for skater Elsa vibe. <laughs> I mean, all in all, it's taking me 10 minutes to get ready. Not too bad. Jack is sleeping. Derek and Sunny are gonna be back soon. All right. And we call it good. Okay, so we just got back from the appointment and it actually was more than one shot. I did two shots, one in each thigh, and then gave her a oral vaccine. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I just, there's so many things that they have to get and sometimes I'm just like, what is going on? But I feel like it's good for them. A little bit concerning, her weight is in the 2.6th percentile. So she is as about as low as you can get with the weight. The doctor actually asked us to schedule an appointment two to four weeks out from now for a weight check to make sure that she's gaining weight. She's not eating a whole lot. I mean, even just now she was acting so, so hungry and typically she should be eating four ounces, but we could only get her to eat two. Yeah, a little concerning, but we'll keep you updated on that. I mean, hopefully it gets better. Hopefully she starts to eat more. She's going night night and she's so tired. And Jack just got put down for his nap, but I just hear him in there talking to himself, so that might not happen. Jack, that was a pretty short nap, buddy. No, he didn't take one. <laughs> oh, he didn't even fall asleep? No. Sarah needs a nap. Yes, I do. Why didn't you take your nap? I have a bit. Okay, just tell me why. <laughs> I got We're changing the subject. Because I'm not tired. That's why? Are, Are you tired? tired? Yeah. Then why didn't you take your nap, silly boy? Sarah woke up today at 5.30 yesterday and 5 today. So are you going to take a nap at some point today? I love that. I don't think it's in the cards for me. Why isn't it in the cards? Because we have things to do. There's always things to do. Just go take a nap. You go take a nap. You go take a nap. Good news, you guys. Sarah did go down and take a nap. Go down. Why do I say go down? I'm so used to saying put our kids down for a nap. <laughs> so she's sleeping. That's great. Hopefully she sleeps a long time. She she needs a nap. She has such a hard time sleeping at night. Me and Buddy are just gonna, we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, <laughs> but we're gonna have fun. Go Jack, go, 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 go. Figured it would be best to get out of the house and let Sarah just sleep without having to hear either of them crying or making noise. You wanna push it? Okay, Jack's gonna push Sunny to the park. All right, see you guys. See how this goes. <laughs> okay, bud. Nice. Wow. That's really cool, Jack. And we are just gonna head to the park, go play for a little bit, let Sarah sleep for, I don't know, hopefully another hour or two. Hopefully these guys last. So far, so good. Lift up your feet. Lift up your feet. Oh. Do it again. Do it again. Hi, Jenny. Sunny, do you like the park? Yeah, it's super fun, huh? Blink your eyes if you're having fun. Blink them. Nice. All right, just got back from the park. That was really fun. Sunny did great, but on the walk home, she had a meltdown and I realized just how hard it is to actually take two kids out. That was kind of crazy. Anyways, fun stuff happening right now. Sarah tomorrow is leaving to New York, but this whole past week, 
we've had some very special guests staying at our house that I will introduce you to. You've probably never met them before. Oh, you probably hi. haven't seen them around. Um, but I want to introduce you to them. So their names are Matt oh, what's and up? Abby Howard. Hi. hi. I feel like a lot of people don't know our last names actually. <laughs> yeah, we're the Matt Howards Abby. actually. That's this the last is the name. Howard family. These guys lived in Hawaii a year ago and the funny thing is when they lived here, we actually like barely ever hung out. There's actually, each other we really didn't like each yeah. other. So they're here till the 20th and then they're gonna just be bouncing around between islands. Um, you guys coming to Maui with us? Yeah, we're gonna go to Maui with them. Hey! How are you? heard you? it here. I, I really want to. Say it. Sir? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. All right, Jack. It's zero, zero. Ready? I'm going on you. Oh! I Oh, Okay, ready? Oh, he stole it. Oh, no. Oh, that's cool. Okay. easy on him. I gotta teach him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh. Okay, last point wins. Last point wins. Oh, oh my god. I'm not just gonna go over there. You think I'm gonna give it to you that easy? You got a score on me. Don't get Oh my gosh. He stole it. Oh no. We're here with a little sad girl from her appointment. She got a few shots, so she's a little more sad than usual. Today's so, been a little crazy, but we finally are sitting down together for the first time. I think everyone is really curious how your nap was. Everyone was curious because I was looking like I was dying before. Just a little bit. I was a little cranky, just a little bit. But that nap was glorious. I closed my eyes and woke up like an hour and a half later, and I was like, Perfect. I feel like a new person. Yeah. So, guys, we have something we want to talk about. We haven't really talked about it lately like did we only do one video of us like moving I i'm pretty like sure we only brought this up once and it was like three months ago and four months we ago we just were like oh we're moving yeah. i don't think we even like said why or what's going on we'll just give you guys the basics of yeah. of the beast and fam for those of you that are new here and are a little confused of their situation because we don't really post a whole lot about where we are so we live in hawaii We've lived in Hawaii on Oahu for the last almost six years now. Both of us are originally from Utah. Mm -hmm. We moved to Hawaii. I went to school out here. Mm -hmm. And then when I graduated three years ago, we decided to just stay out here. And it's been epic. We love it. We want to make this somewhat of a home for the rest of our lives. At least However, it's some place that, that we like help the kids come to a lot. And like, yeah. you know, that they get to know this place is really important to us. So we've made too many friendships and have had too many memories to kind of just like leave this place oh, yeah. for good. But for now, we are kind of doing a home base in Utah. Why? And the reason why we want to bring this up is because a lot of people on Sarah's stories recently, people are just like, wait, why are you moving to Utah? Why are you leaving Hawaii? It doesn't make any sense yeah. at all. On paper, it doesn't really make sense. Well, there are a few things about it that make sense. One of the reasons is we wanted to own something really bad. The houses here are pretty insane. We knew that like we always wanted to come back here eventually. So I guess our goal right now is to, you know, have our little home base in Utah. And then eventually we would love to have something here. We don't know if that's in the cards for us or not, but that's just like a dream and a goal that we have. Yeah. Before we actually decided that we were going to make this happen, if you would have ever asked me like if I was gonna move back to Utah, I would have said, hell no, never. It like absolutely like, not, I'm not moving It was like one back. of our biggest like arguments, I feel like when we were first married. I was like, oh, I, I wouldn't mind living in Utah. And he was like, no. <laughs> As I slowly realized that Hawaii was possible and how like we were actually creating our life here and then we were having kids and it was amazing. I was like, why would we ever leave? And why would we leave to go back to freaking Utah? Over the course of the last two years though, my mind has kind of like shifted. And for the first time I've like realized wait, this place is really cool. And I grew up there and yeah. I just took it for granted. And I Derek, never like, it was... it's like his eyes were open to like all the fun possibilities and great things that are in Utah. And like, then when we were actually like walking through the houses, I was talking to Derek after and I was like, something about that felt really right. And he like fully agreed with me. I can honestly say I totally felt it. I am excited about it. I think we're scared of change. I'm scared. I don't know. I feel like it might be a little bit harder for me just because I kind of was the one that told Sarah, like, we need to get to Hawaii. That was kind of always a little bit more on my radar than hers. I feel like you've grown to love it 
Oh, like well, as, I as loved much as it me. when we got here too. It was kind of like this, it wasn't something this dream I really of mine. Of. And once I achieved it, I was like, I don't ever want to leave. I love surfing. <laughs> I love being in the water. I love everything about Hawaii. But I hope we can make it work where we come back often. I know when the time comes for us to actually move, it's going to be heartbreaking. Our marriage has basically been built here in Hawaii. Like we lived in Utah for two years. Yeah, and it was, it was, it was tough. Like was we were like totally figuring out the whole marriage thing. We didn't get it. It just wasn't clicking. <laughs> there until we got out to Hawaii and so it almost feels like why would we leave what has been working I mean we've had our fair share of ups and downs out here as well. You're making me sad. I'm sad okay. You're making me sad. I'm sad it's it's tough again though it's like neither of us can argue with what feels right mm -hmm. and it actually feels right to yeah. leave. It's also good because we've had like a year to like mull this over and like get used to the idea of leaving because I feel like it is such a big deal for us. We kind of just want to be a little bit more open about all of this. We realized that it was like four months ago and we kind of just dropped this bomb like hey we're leaving Hawaii and people are just really confused in general about like where we live, where we are going to be. So we're in Hawaii. We're not exactly sure when we're going to leave. It's going to be within the next four to six months is my guess. Our house that we're building in Hawaii probably won't be done till August or September so we might have to like live with family for a month or two before we're still trying to figure it out but yeah it's gonna be hard and honestly I think the reason why we haven't been talking about it as much is because we kind of just like don't want to think about it as exciting as it is it's still just it's scary we're excited we're scared we're sad all the emotions oh. Jack just went to Utah with Derek and he came back and I was talking to him and I said, did you have fun in Utah? And he said, yeah. And I was like, but now you're in Hawaii. And he said, yeah. And I said, do you want to live in Utah or Hawaii? And every single time he said Utah. So I'm like, I don't know. I can't I'm... tell if that makes me happy or sad. I think for now, I think that's a good thing. If you guys have had experiences like this where you are leaving the place you call home, give us some advice because this is big and I feel like it's just going to get harder and harder as it gets closer. But just wanted to give you guys kind of the rundown of what's going on because I know it was kind of confusing. I think we need to wrap it up. Anyways, thanks for listening to our little story. You guys are amazing. Thanks for the support. It's been awesome. We're grateful you guys are on this journey with us. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that have been here since the start, thanks. It's really cool to know that like we are friends, even though we've never met you guys. We are friends. We are friends. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It means the world. And again, just thank you. You guys are freaking cool. Freaking cool. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. See you next time. That was really bad. See you next. <laughs> See you next time. I just don't want to hit the camera off this box, you know? See you next time. It's literally on a package. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold it right. Uh, see you next time. Okay. That, 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 uh, that works. Those noises. See you next time. <laughs>